All right, we're gonna start off with group healer first. So you'll obviously be right with the group. Generally, you'll be using RO and your volts, so there'll be a lot of times you're heavy attacking. So let's go, this is the first port. The If you were on PC, I highly recommend getting the your world tracker, or the RO tracker, sorry, not your world tracker, to see how, like for example, when your, your uptimes are up for Slayer. Um, whenever you go from one tail to the next, you wanna make sure that your hots are down. This could be springs, this can be your ritual. You wanna make sure that those are always down 100% of the time. That's like your most, your very most important thing. The second most important thing is combat prayer. As a healer, this is your spammable. You should only be using regeneration as a spammable when you are moving from one tail to the next. Um, but combat prayer should be the thing that you are just absolutely spamming the hell out of. If you aren't combat praying, um, you should be making sure that you have your uptimes for RO. So as you can see here, she still has eight seconds before she can proc RO. So she's gonna lay down her, her ground dots. This could be blockade for a mini so that there's crusher. This could be altar for the tanks. It could be anything like that. Um, as well as you wanna be the person that grabs ice the most. Since you're in charge of your own healing, you have the best ability to make sure that the ice is safely dropped, that you are safely alive. Um, you aren't going to be doing too much with orbs. That's mainly the kite healers kind of thing. Your main debuff is Zamaja or the minis that are up. And like you can see here, she's just spamming combat prayer. Um, let's see. For the most part, that's the biggest thing with, with group healer. Um, in case you didn't know, orb is a ridiculous hot. Make sure that's always running through the group. Um, especially in Xe where Baneful hits everybody. Um, it does an extreme amount of damage. Also, which I'll explain more when we go over kite healing. But for SPC, it that's one of the best ways to keep up SPC because of its um, just overheal ability because it's healing you every half second. Um, let's see. When a lot of people will give the crown to the group healer so that they um, know where to stack. And so you want to make sure that you're leading your group on, on where to be. Let's skip to the XE since the rest of this is pretty repetitive. So here you go. We're going to go into XE. Um, the biggest thing that you want to do for XE is make sure that you heal people out of Baneful. This includes tanks. So let me reiterate that, um, for example, healing springs. That's one of your strongest hots, that and orb. You wanna make sure orb's always going through your side and you wanna make sure springs is always down. Generally what I'll do in, if I'm group healing and we're coming into this part, you can proc RO on this Zamaja back here so that you're ready to go right into the fight and you can just make sure your hots are down and ready for it. Um, or you can wait till Zamaja spawns herself, make sure that your hots are already down and then proc RO. Um, but boom, she makes sure her springs are down, she makes sure the orb is out, and making sure that the healers stack, okay, so she swapped, but making sure that there's obviously two stacks for flare. Um, so Baneful goes out. What I wanna generally do as a healer is making sure my tanks are healed out. So they're swapping here, so he's coming to be with me. But for example, if it's a solo hold, what I would do is I would make sure my side is good my springs is down hitting everybody, my orb is going out towards the tank, and then I would combat prayer towards the tank and try to follow him with combat prayer. So if he's moving around, he comes over here because of kite, rolls back through, comes this way, I'm just following his every move with combat prayer. Once you know everybody's out of Baneful again, that's when I go, I'll go, hey, let's make sure my RO is up and hit something like that. <clears throat> as well as making sure you obviously you grab ice because maim does not affect you like it affects DPS. Uh, Ritual is obviously another one of those crazy strong heals. Make sure that is always down. And for the most part, that's the basics of healing. Um, when you're on your side like this and you're combat pairing your side and the Kai healer's combat pairing their side, that's when I'd throw up more regeneration since it can hit multiple people and it lasts a really long time. As well as it, well, that's been one of the ones that hits tanks the most. <clears throat> but that's pretty much group healing in a nutshell. Is there any questions about that?
And yes, Salt, you want to wear gear. You're still in here. I really hope you're doing it in light armor. Alright, let's close this out. Go ahead and end the recording.